What's going on today guys? I'm super pumped to show you guys how I build my five inch open class racing builds. I also used them at Mayhem just with a spec or an RPM limiter. Uh, it's gonna show you guys how I basically just put everything together. It's a pretty tight build, but it does look really clean and it's really easy to put together once you know how to do it. Hope you guys enjoy today's video. Alrighty guys, so as you see right here, I'm using some aluminum screws. It's gonna go really nicely with the motor color. And here it is all together. The nice part about using the Hobbywing ESC is that it comes with the wires pre-installed along with the capacitor. And all you have to do is put on the XT60. Okay guys, and here's the process of how I kind of prepare the ESC for tinning the pads. As you can see, I'm just kind of going through each pad and putting in a, a pretty good amount of solder on top of it. And right about here is when I'm going to begin applying the motor wires onto the ESC. The motors were pre-trimmed, so it's a lot easier and faster than how most of my builds would go. It's going to be a pretty simple process overall. As you can tell, the motor wires are very short. There isn't really much wiggle room in terms of motor length. That is because it is a five inch build and I'm trying to make it as short as possible. Right here, I'm just trimming off the 30 by 30 mounting holes for the flight controller. It's a pretty quick and easy process. Just make sure to cut on the line. Right here is the stack and the motors on the build. It's a really clean build, has a ton of room between everything. And now let's get into setting up the camera and the receiver. I actually mount my receiver on the back of the camera. It, there's a lot of room behind the camera, so it's kind of the best option for me. This makes most sense because my VTX is going to be on the top plate. So overall, the bilge is going to have a lot of room between everything. I forgot to do it right here, but I normally route the MIPI cable under the receiver and I'll show you guys a clip of how that looks. Just a little heads up guys, all of the parts except the frame are down in the description with 10% off. Hope you guys do take advantage of this and go to rec.com for any of your FPV needs. Okay guys, so here is how the receiver wires look installed. They're right in front of the flight controller, making sure to not leave anything going over the gyro. And then right there is the MIPI cable. This leads to a really clean looking build and also no wires going over the gyro means the quad's gonna fly a lot better. Now let's get into how I mount my VTX. I actually mount it to the top plate and the wires are gonna be going straight down and around the flight controller. And that motor wire is actually used to ground the VTX. It's gonna go straight to the standoff and the screw is gonna hold it in place. The reason I do that is to actually reduce video noise. Okay, so here's the build together. As you guys see, it's pretty small and compact but that doesn't mean that there's any shortcomings with this build. It's all super clean, a lot of room between all of the components, meaning the quad's gonna fly amazing, especially with nothing running over the gyro, as you can see there. Let's get into Betaflight and BL Heli. Okay guys, let's get into how we're gonna be setting up the PIDs and the filters. We're gonna go ahead and use the Karate 6L 5 inch tune. If you're on an F7 processor, go ahead and use DSHOT 600. If you're on an F4, then it's gonna be DSHOT 300. Uh, we're also gonna be enabling dynamic idle and spicy tune. And now I'm using ELRS at 500 Hertz. This is totally dependent on what you're gonna be running for your radio link. Now moving on um, for the pits and filters. Uh, we also have the rates. I do recommend you guys try and always test new rates. However, these are pretty fast rates for most people. So it's totally dependent on what you're looking for, for stick response. So here's my OSD setup, just my name, my throttle percentage, my battery voltage, and then my LQ. There's a lot of other options here. Just go ahead and play around with it and see what you prefer. Now let's jump into BL Heli. Okay, now let's get into our ESC setup. As you can see here, I always turn off DMAG. Uh, that's just because the throttle, the way the throttle feels with DMAG on low or high, I just don't like it. It gives it a kind of mushy feeling. Now for my PWM frequency, I always set it to locked at 48 kilohertz. This is just because it makes the tune and drone fly a lot better. And I really do recommend these settings for you guys, just these three changes and the drone will fly a lot better and you'll probably end up with colder motors. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw up some DVR. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you guys later. It's about time you fell in love with something that will love you back. And that my friends is house music. It doesn't judge you and I won't either. Been punched in your motherfucking face. What you say? Oh, you. Hey.